Welcome back to Studio 701. If you're ever in need of a home-cooked meal that tastes like Grandma's cooking, uh, we know just the place. Natalie Gomez heads to Mohall to see the inside of the Prairie Bistro and Gardens. Hey everybody, we are at the Prairie Bistro and Gardens and I'm here with Caitlin and Sonia. Ladies, thank you so much for having us today. This place, I can already tell, I, I am enjoying every <laughs> minute that I have been in here. Uh, so, Sonia, I'm going to start with you. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about what this place is all about. We kind of call ourselves a three-ring circus. We have a greenhouse where we grow our own things. We have a restaurant that is seasonal. So during the greenhouse season, we serve lunch. We also cater and have a baking business. Oh my gosh, so many great things. Tell me a little bit about what you serve at the restaurant. So for lunches, we specialize in homemade soups. Um, everything is made in house and a flower pot bread comes with that, which is a signature. And we have salads that we make a lot of our own dressings, etc., and a lot of specialty sandwiches. And we specialize in cheesecake. Tell me about really like the inspiration that went behind making a place like this. You know, Sony's mom started this business over 50 years ago, so we're kind of just following in her footsteps and what was her her vision. Mm -hmm. She's she's kind of the the mastermind behind it, and we've just continued what she has done with the antiques and making it feel personal for everyone. I can already feel like I'm at home. I mean, you're taken to a completely different space, and it just feels warm and homey and we got some friends running around <laughs> which i love <laughs> tell me about some great events that you have coming up mother's day is right around the corner it's gotten to be kind of reservation only because we end up serving a lot of people that day but we have uh, a lunch buffet and we have you know the greenhouses are full of beautiful things people can come you know and enjoy and pick some things out these are all booked for this season but we also have what we call dirty dining and that is a gourmet meal. We have steak and shrimp and, of course, cheesecake with a container planting class. So we do plant yep. a play day for kids where they can come and plant a, a pot for mom. They get a meal and mom gets a meal and stuff like that, or whoever's bringing them. Yep. Yeah. We focused in on the restaurant side. Now let's focus in mm -hmm. on the greenhouse mm -hmm. side. Uh, what do you offer to the community on that side? We contribute to the beautification committee. Um, they, they are the ones who are, they and the city take care of the, the main street plantings. You know, encourage them to do the things around town. And, um, you know, we also offer as much advice to community members as we can about how to grow things. We have, I think we figured over 120 years of gardening experience between mom and us and a couple of the other ladies who, who work here and have a lot of knowledge about what they're doing. We're all, we're all gardeners not just growers. What do you hope someone experiences when they come to the Prairie Bistro and Gardens? You know, I just want people to have enjoyed themselves when they're here. We, of course, want them to come and shop, but it's, we, it's kind of a little oasis. You know, they can, they can have a cup of coffee and enjoy the display beds in the summer, enjoy the plants. I, there's, it's, it's eclectic. We have a lot of different things, and I just, I just want people to enjoy their experience here. I have to focus back on the cheesecake. <laughs> Talk to me about the cheesecake, ladies. We started making cheesecake, oh, probably 20, oh, longer ago yeah. than that. I probably started making that like in 91. And they just enjoy our cheesecake. So we have several different flavors. Uh, we have a traditional, we have a lemon swirl, a raspberry swirl, a caramel pecan, a rhubarb, brownie. And in the, in the winter, we have some different winter seasonal flavors. You're so. making me hungry. <laughs> so I hope we get to eat some cheesecake yeah, today. Absolutely. <laughs> and you said you can shop around. So mm -hmm. talk to me about the merchandise that you sell. You know, it's a restaurant, it's a garden house, yeah. but then there's some really cool trinkets that I see everywhere. Yeah, we have uh, between the jewelry and the candles and the garden accessories. Yep, we have wall decor. Um, we have lots of different pots for house plants or for you know outside pots a little bit of everything so the solar things the flags you know we we just try to to do a, a mix of everything we have some beautiful benches this year yep. and you said the restaurant is only open uh, seasonal 
So what are the, the dates that, that the restaurant is open? So we opened last week when we opened the greenhouse, and then we'll be open through the end of June. And then we're open three days a week in July and August, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. After the 4th of July, we take that week off. No Saturdays in June in July and August. So, But we also, if, you know, if somebody has a special event on a day that we aren't catering, we, we can organize, um, you know, meals for something like that too. When we walked in, we were greeted by the cutest fur friends <laughs> around. So I'm sure when people walk in, they'll see your fur friends yeah. kind of running around. So why don't you introduce them to us? <laughs> <laughs> well, we have, we have Rex, who is a, a rescue. And, and he is Caitlin's dog. Um, and he is very, very good. And then, yeah. <laughs> He's ready for his close-up. Yeah. And then I'm sure you'll be seeing Elmo and Elroy, who are uh, brothers, and yet they are they live here, and they all greet everybody. They're all good with people. Um, we're just really fortunate to have such wonderful critters. And then we have three cats that, you know, tend to greet everybody at the door, um, ask for cheesecake. <laughs> However, they might greet us at the door, but none of them, we, we try to keep them out of the dining area as much as we can, but um, they do not get into the kitchen. Yes. <laughs> Even the cats know that when the doors are open, they can't go in the kitchen, so. I love it, I love it. Here comes Rex, hey buddy. <laughs> Well, ladies, thank you so much. And I, you know, get on out here if you are in Mohal. If you're not, it's definitely worth the drive. Like Sonia said, it's, it's kind of like an oasis. Uh, all right, ladies. Well, thank you so thank much. Thank you much, thank Natalie. You, we appreciate it. Absolutely. Yeah. The Prairie Bistro and Gardens is located at 9243 38th Avenue Northwest in Mohal. And you can find more information at theprairiebistro.com. On Sunday, May 14th, there's a Mother's Day open house and lunch buffet. Reservations are required for lunch, so make sure you get those in early. So Amber, I got to tell you, I had thought I'd never been to Mohal. I have been to Mohal, and in fact... I've been to the Prairie Bistro and Garden. Uh, it was a few years ago, maybe five years ago or so, and it was delicious. It brought the entire family, uh, and it was, it was really, really good. They've got a, a greenhouse there. Um, it was a fantastic place. Well, it looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. Do you remember if the dogs, Elmer and Elroy, I, came I, up I to I you? I didn't remember I was there. I don't remember the dogs. <laughs> it but all came back to him once he saw the video. It did. I was like, video. wait a second. I've been there before. I have been there. Yeah, I and, have and been it to was. It, and now it, you know, it was all flooding back, and, and it yeah. was really, a, it was a great time. Uh, my kids at the time were maybe three and five. And we and, and and it was again. It was just a, overall a, a great experience, and we might have to make the trip again. It was, I was that good. I was going to say, it looks like it's worth the trip. All right. Totally.